We are in a war. Amen. Amen. We got to fight. Amen. I'm not talking about the kind of war where you got to have a, a cannon and a pistol or a rifle. I'm talking about a spiritual warfare. Amen. You are under attack. Amen. And how do I win this battle? You have to call on the name of the Lord. Amen. You can't do it by yourself. You're going to have to have some help. But one thing about it, you don't have to worry about running because God's got your back. Amen. Amen. I want to give honor to my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I want to thank God for everybody coming out and the ones watching on Facebook. And I thank God for another Sunday morning. Amen. Amen. Now, those of you who have your Bibles, would you please turn with me to Psalm? Psalm 127, and uh, I gave her one verse, so we're just going to do two verses, four and five, and I promise you I won't be before you long, man. I right, just want right. to give honor to all whom honors do, and I thank God for my space to be able to stand and be in my right mind. And, and when I was young, I, I used to hear people say that, and I'm like, well, you're supposed to. But it's not guaranteed to. Right. Uh -huh. You know, it's not guaranteed that you're right. able to stand. Right. Be in your right. right mind. That's right. Know what your so name is. We understand it as we get older. But when Come you on, get older, hey, that's, a, that's a blessing. Yeah. To know what your name is. That that's way, right. To write your name. Come on. Amen. To God be the glory. Yes. Man, that you can stand. Uh huh. Amen. I mean, you don't have to stand and be print, print mm -hmm. but just be able to stand. And I don't mean just to stand to be standing up, but you got to stand for something. Uh -huh. I want you to stand for Jesus, amen. amen. To God be the glory, amen. You, amen. Got, you got to stand, you need to stand Woo. for Jesus. Yes. Stand for yes. him, amen. That's all I'm saying, you know. We, we, we giggle and play and laugh and hold lot and play, but you got to stand for Jesus, amen. Mm -hmm. Because when push come to shove, who got your back? Come on. Jesus. When, and that's when you really find out who's for you and against mm -hmm. you. God's got you. Amen. When you say, well, I thought, so, I thought so and so had. Thank you, God. You thought. That's what you thought. Come on, you thought. But they showed you. Come on. You understand what I'm saying? Just, just listen to what I'm saying. God's got your back. Ooh. You don't have to run. Come on. You don't have I to go hide. God's you. got your back. <laughs> God's got your back, he's got your side, got your side, he's got the top. God's got your back. Yes. Who's fighting for you? God's God fighting is. for Come you. On. I mean, because you trying to say, I'm trying to figure this out, Pastor. And every Sunday I'm trying to, I'm gonna get it, I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna figure it. Don't worry about it. God's got it. See, it's some things that we supposed to do as believers. And then there's some things we don't have to do as believers. And, and, when, and when you read your Bible, it says he wants you to pray. Uh -huh. And then he wants you to praise and worship. Well, if you burden down with something, it's awful hard to praise Come and on, worship Pastor. when Amen. you got a burden on your back. So I'm asking you right now for a few minutes, put your burdens down. Yes, sir. You might want to slip your shoes off. Yes, and then when, when, when the urge hits you, they get up and just give God the praise. Uh -huh. Well, do I have something to praise him for? You, That's what people be thinking. Thank you, Lord. What do I have? I bless your name, Jesus. You're able to stand. You're here. Yes. You're breathing on your yes. own. Yes. Uh, yes. When, when you left, you had a roof over your head. You had something over your head, amen. And something was able to get you here. Mm -hmm. Understand what I'm saying? Amen. And we take it for granted. Oh, it's supposed to be like this. It's going to always be like this. It's going to stay like this. Is it? Jesus. Uh, I used to, used to hear, uh, you never know when you don't need your last glass of water. Who's going to give you your last glass of water? You don't ever know when you're going to take your last breath. Uh, you don't know which when your last day is. And I'm not trying to, I'm not preaching uh, doom and gloom, but these things are going to happen. Right. So you need to be ready. And, and as the old songwriter saying, get your house mm -hmm. 
-hmm. in order. Make sure you, you know, because some people say, well, you got to have some insurance. And uh, you leave some insurance because when you leave, they, 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 they got to take it. Take it somewhere. They gonna put you. In the, they gotta plant you. So make sure you got yeah, some insurance. Oh. Hey man, that's, that's what that's what Mr. Oh. Oakland, Mr. Oakland used yeah, to say. They gotta no, they no, gonna no, plant no. you. They gonna plant you somewhere. But I'm letting you know why you here. You gotta make some preparation too. Come on, Pastor. Yeah, I know. I know. I need to leave, but that's some nice some insurance. But I, yeah. but I, I want them to know that that when when they put me down and uh -huh. plant me, oh, that's yeah. not where I'm at. Oh, I'm gonna be in heaven. Where are you gonna be? Yes. You know, where are you gonna be? Amen. Hey, let, let, let me get on with this. Look like look like the time's getting away from us. Yeah. Amen. What happened this morning? <laughs> Amen. But you please turn me to Psalm 127, verses 4 and 5. Um, I say it again. Um, I'm hoping I won't be before you long, amen. But the Holy Spirit might have a different idea. So verse 4 says, as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is the man that has his quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Let us bow. Our Father and our God, Lord God, thank you for this day and all your many blessings, Lord God. Thank you how you, you kept us and watched over us there, Lord God. And God, thank you for being so good to us. Thank you for loving us and caring for us, even when we're just so trifling, Lord God, that we don't yes, even deserve it. Right. But God, thank you. Yes. Thank you for being with us. Thank you for walking with us. Thank you for drying our tears. Dear Lord God, thank you for being for you being here. And God, I thank you that you don't take a PT day. Lord God, that you don't close down, dear Lord God. And, 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 and when we need you, all we got to do is call. Right. And, and you will answer the call, Lord God. Mm -hmm. Father God, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 We're going to talk about the arrow of faith and trust. Well, how did you get that out of that, preacher? Well, if you just hold on a minute, I'm going to let you have it. Okay? <laughs> but if I forget, and I read the word quiver, it's a case for carrying or holding arrows. Okay, it's a quiver. Mm -hmm. Q U I V E R. It's a quiver. Mm -hmm. Now, a warrior of God always walks in obedience. Mm -hmm. And 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 we were saying in Sunday school some of the, some of the tough things to do as a believer. And the thing I come up <laughs> with was uh, you you need to love your love your enemy. And uh, you, he's in preaching, but preaching you seen it. You ought to do that. Well, I'm, I'm getting there. I'm not there yet. And another thing is being obedient to the Spirit. Mm -hmm. When the Spirit speaks, you follow, you do. Right, right. You let the, you should be led by the Spirit. And then sometimes we'll kick against the Spirit. I'm not doing that. I'm not going over that. Surely you don't want me to do that. He don't he don't talk to y'all like that. He, he don't speak to you. Then you just you just kick back. I'm not doing it. Mm -hmm. But in 1 Samuel 15, 22, it says, it says that to obey is better than sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Obey God. Follow God. Be with God. Do what God say to do. And, 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 it, and it sounds simple to we have to do it. Be just, just, just be obedient. When God called me, I didn't want to do no preach. It's just honest. I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't want to do it. You got enough. That's right. God, you got enough. And then, if it ain't enough, I know what two or three more is <laughs> that can do. I, I'm serious. I'm yeah. serious. Because I'm not the one. I'm, I'm not cut out to be in front. I'm not cut out to lead. Look at God. I just, I just want to be, I be in the group. I don't uh -huh. want to be in front of the group. Right. And if anybody asks me, I, you know, I just tell them, hey, whatever. You know, but see how God has changed things? You know, I, I still don't care about how the color of something look or, or what the balloons look like. It it, it, it don't matter. All, uh -huh. all I'm supposed to do is just bring, bring the message. Amen. But the bow, the bow represents the power of the Holy Spirit uh -huh. moving in our lives. Mm -hmm. The sights on the, on the bow represent vision. Do you have the vision? Wow. Have you caught the vision? Do you, do you see it? Because, see, sometimes people say you can't see the forest from the trees uh -huh. or something like it. And, and, and so God gives you something that you ought to be able to see. 
Can't nobody, and ain't nobody else got to see it. Only you have to see it. Mm -hmm. You got the vision, 2020 vision. Some people don't have 2020 vision. I know I don't. That's why I wear glasses. I'm not talking about that kind of vision. You got to see it before it comes. And I say it all the time. The vision. Uh -huh. Get the vision. What, what's God showing you? What God telling you? And then you say, well, pastor, God showed me this. And you, and you might be scared to tell me. Or you might be scared to talk about it with everybody. Because see, some people ain't on your level. So some people say, oh, you, you, you just had a bad dream. You know, you just had a bad dream. But the arrow represents the purpose of God. The purpose. Do you know what God's purpose is? What is your purpose? Why are you here? I used to hear this all the time when I was young. Why are you on this earth? Besides eating up everybody's groceries. What are you supposed to do? Right. How are you supposed to do it? And then sometimes God will give you a glimpse of the vision. But he don't show you how to do the vision. He'll show you the beginning uh -huh. of a thing. But he won't show you the middle. You, you ever watch a movie? And they'll show the movie from the, from the end to the beginning. They'll show you somebody getting shot at the end of the movie, which is really the end. But then we ask God, and God says, well, I'm going to show you a, a, a snippet of it. And you get a snippet of it, but it don't make no sense. So a year might go by. Two years might go by. Three years might go by. And then what you have been shown comes up. Mm. I remember that. Come on. So and so said that. Uh, uh, but on that day, uh -huh. it's not happening. That year is not happening. Uh -huh. But down the road, it comes back to you. Wow. And I haven't said anything to anybody about what, I, what I've been told or what uh -huh. I've been seeing. I'm going I'm to hold on to it. Uh -huh. For the appointed time, the vision will be made plain. Amen. Let, let, let me move on. Now, the quiver where the, where the warrior keeps his arrows represent the heart where the purpose of God are kept. Do you, do, do, do you know what, where, where you keep your stuff at? You know, some people just got it in the bag and just throw it somewhere. Mm -hmm. But you got to have someone to keep it at, amen. And if we want our arrows to hit the target of obedience, there is a few things we must do. You want to hit the target. What what I need to do? And I got down here, practice your faith. But the only way you're going to be able to practice it, something's going to have to come. A storm's going to have to come. Some tribulations, some, some, some short times going to have to come before you can really work it. Work, work, work it. And then you say, well, how do you, that's not practicing. Remember in the Bible, I might be long on it today, y'all. Genesis 22. Uh -huh. Abraham, Isaac. Hey, we going up on this mountain to sacrifice. Well, first, Abraham was told, kill that boy. That's what God gave him. That was his son. But he had two but this was the son that God, this was what God wanted him to have. And he had another son, but that was out of his own flesh. That was out of his own doing. So that one, that, that one don't count, but God said, I'm going to make provision for it. You understand? Yeah. No, it don't count. Because that's that's not what God that's told him to do. Remember, that's I just right. said you got to be in the will of God. Come on. You can't say, well, uh, well we're going to have a baby just because we can have a baby. Now, what did, how did God say do it? But Abraham laughed. Sarah laughed. I'm too old for this. I can't do this. Yeah, did you ever, everybody just ever laugh at God? God, you tricked. Not in a disrespectful way, but hmm, I don't see me doing it. Remember, I just told y'all when I when I started, I didn't see myself preaching, and I sure didn't see myself pastoring. So I might have laughed a little bit. <laughs> that ain't happening, God. But he'll show you. Mm -hmm. He'll show you. 
So anyway, let me finish this. So they, they go up the mountain to get everything, you know, they got everything they needed. Abraham didn't know what was going to be provided. He just said, take Isaac up there. Isaac, I just believe Isaac heard from the Lord that I'm going to provide you with a sacrifice. See, some things you don't see. Right. Mm -hmm. You don't see it. Well, I didn't see that. But God's going to prepare it for you. Mm -hmm. Now, now, Abraham, if you just get out of the way and look behind you in that thicket, there's a sacrifice. God provided. Because, see, we so gun ho on doing it ourselves. Mm -hmm. I'm going to depend on me, myself, and I. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do this. But your faith, your faith goes from faith to faith. You grow. From faith to faith, you grow. Mm -hmm. Now, if we can go back when we all first started coming into this church right here and looked at our faith and, and, and measured it, if we could measure it, and then look at where we're at now, you're going to say, we've grown. But you'd be surprised how much you've grown because a lot of stuff used to get and a lot of stuff still gets me. But see what it happens when you take it out of a certain element and then you put it somewhere else. That's what I'm saying. Well, 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 well I can handle this. I, Eric can change a flat tire. Let, let's give him two flat tires. How is he going to handle it? But it's still by faith. Amen. We need to work hard at your faith. Mm -hmm. You got to work hard. It's, it's, this is it's, it's yours. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to do it. You got to work hard at it. Well, how do I do that? You got to stay in the book. You got to stay. I keep saying you got to stay in the book. You got to stay in the book. Keep yourself around folk that's going to encourage you. That's, that's right, right. That's right. And that's, that's the right. truth. Come on, Patty. You, can't, you, you, you can't do that. Can you? Oh, 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 oh. Can the, can the church do that? And, and then are you, are you asking me? what the church can do, because I'm not going to put no limitations on this church. Because, mm -hmm. see, 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 then, then, I'm, 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 I'm holding up our blessing. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. When I say the church can't do, or the church won't do, or the church shouldn't do, and I want to I want to take everything, all the chains and everything that holds the church, I don't want to hold the church back. Mm -hmm. So, when, when, when the church do what, it, what it's going to do, I want to do what it's supposed to do, just like you. Be determined. Put your faith in action. Mm -hmm. Be determined. Put it in action. Put it. So the only way it's going to work is you got you got to make it. You got to work it. Mm -hmm. right. You got to show some action. Uh -huh. You know, say 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 you hungry. You got to rattle some pots and pans oh, right. like so right. If you hungry, <laughs> or if not, you're going to remain hungry. Right. See, for every action, there's a reaction. Something's going to happen. Amen. So when you take the time to pray and spend time with God, guess what? Here, here comes the reaction. Here comes God. Mm -hmm. Now, the only way to, to please God is with faith. Is he pleased with your faith? Wow. Don't worry about my faith. Wow. It's his faith. That's right. He's pleased with your faith. Is That's he pleased right. with your faith? Mm -hmm. Your faith. Don't worry about the person beside you. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about your faith. Mm -hmm. Is he pleased with it? Are you living up to your limitations or expectations or your goals or your vision or your plan? Your faith. Do not, do not let nothing distract you. That's right, that's right. Don't let nothing distract you. Lord John, I see that and I just got distracted. That's what the enemy's job is, mm -hmm. to distract you. See, it ain't got to be nothing major or nothing minor or whatever, how you look at it. It ain't got to be that deep. Right. But it can just be something. You can, you, you know, you, you walking down foot, you can hit, hit your foot on a rock or something mm -hmm. and, you know, just stump your toe. It ain't nothing major, but it's enough to get you off. <laughs> enough to get you off beat a little bit. Uh -huh. So listen to this. If we want to be obedient to God, we must walk in faith. Mm -hmm. You got to walk That's right. in yeah. faith. You got to walk in faith. And I said, well, 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 if we walk and we got to be in it. But sometimes people walk and they ain't in the faith. They just walk. Mm. 
But you got to walk in the faith. Well, 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 how do I do that? Walk what God tells you to walk. And how to walk? Walk in the faith. Don't walk against it. Because see, mm -hmm. if something happens a week, we don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't, I don't know how to do it. Well, ask God. Did you ask God to show? Mm -hmm. Well, Lord, child, I sure want a new car. Yeah, I love one too. But I got to walk in faith to get it. That's right. I just can't go out there on the lot and get one. I got to walk in faith. Faith and money. Yeah. <laughs> well, sometimes you ain't got to have no money yeah. down, but you got to have money every month. <laughs> to make that Come on. Well, sometimes, not for me. Sometimes they'll say, no money down. That's right. Come on now, Pastor. But we'll have a, a percentage rate <laughs> and a payment every month. Right. That you have to make. So you have to walk in faith. You have, That's right. You have to believe it. Before you see, well, I sure ain't got no eight, nine hundred dollars to make this car payment, but for some, Ooh. but somehow, yeah, if you want them, them new trucks, they, they nice. <laughs> eight, nine hundred dollars a month. But well, how are we gonna do that? By faith. By faith. See, I've been talking on faith the last on. couple of Tuesdays. It, it, it's done by faith. Mm -hmm. Right. See, you can sit down and make out a plan, mm -hmm. your business plan. Mm -hmm. But that business plan ain't, ain't worth a hill of beans when you're walking by faith. What do you mean? You can sit down and, and have a budget. My house payment, my utilities, car insurance, da 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 da. See, see, that's kind of like your business plan. I'm gonna, and, and when I get this money, I'm gonna do this. I got, I gotta put put my ties down for Pastor Dalton. Whatever that is, I gotta do that. And then you put that stuff down. See, see, that's your that's your plan. But what God says, you see what I'm saying? Y'all quiet. They're like, what was he talking about? Mm -hmm. God's got a way that's mighty sweet. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I'm going to come up with this $900 a month payment, but I'm going to do it. Because mm -hmm. see, now, what you, now, now here you go. You, you put them in, in your strength. Uh -huh. But you didn't ask God mm -hmm. that supplies everything. Mm -hmm. See, that's when you're not walking in the faith. Well, you, well, God, I need you to, to make a way for me. And then the first thing they say is, well, you shouldn't have got that $900 <laughs> payment, Pastor. You should have just kept what you had. <laughs> yep. But see, when, 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 when you walk out, walking out there, who you trust? Ain't nobody going to give you no $900 a month. So you got to trust God for it. Why am I stuck on it? I don't know. It really don't make no it's sense. It's for me. It makes sense. Come on, Pastor. Okay. 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 I'm with you. I'm with Amen. you. Amen. I'm with you. Okay. So now you got to trust and believe in mm -hmm. every month. So yes, now yes. you got to trust in this because sometimes, sometimes, you know, sometimes people say, well, I'm tired of this. I'm just going to let them take it back. That ain't the will of God. You got to know what the will of God is. How you got to, we got to walk in faith. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. I, I said it. I said it. But if you want to please God, you got to walk in faith. Mm -hmm. How do I do that? You got to. You got to. You got to believe it. Faith. You be, you believe in. You put your hand in your pocket. Ain't nothing in there. You pull out your wallet or your pocketbook. Ain't nothing in there. But then for for, for some reason out of the blue. You go somewhere and then somebody just hands you a piece of paper. You think it's their phone number, business card, but it's a check. Your first month's payment has just been met. Wow. Come on, God. But see, Glory Jesus. you got to believe that God can. God. Mm -hmm. Yes. You got to believe yes. God can. Yes. You can't be that well, I, I hope he can. Wow. And if he did it one time, do it again. Come yeah. do it again. Yeah. But you, you got to believe it. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't believe it. Now, you, you, believing, seeing is believing. That's true. Mm -hmm. But you got to believe it before you even see it. That's right. You got to get it. You got to grab mm -hmm. Somebody grab hold of this, and it's going to help you this wow. week. Yes. But let me get this. This week. Come on, Pastor. I said this week. This I'm week. Strong. Without faith, it's impossible. To please God. Without it. Without it. 
without it. But Hebrews 11 1 says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Now faith is. Mm -hmm. So you don't see it, but God already got it. Mm -hmm. And boy, don't y'all know, when I'm at the house, when I see that little mail car go down the road, I'm out there waiting on it. But what are you waiting on? It's, I'm, like, I'm expecting something. <laughs> I am. When they, when they, they on the other side of the street going down. Well, I, I come out there waiting on I'm waiting on something. See, if you don't expect nothing, you won't never get nothing. That's right. But you got you got to come expecting something. Amen. Amen. So when y'all came down here this morning, what was y'all expecting? I'm, I'm expecting a touch from God. I'm expecting God to open doors. I'm expecting God to What's that old song? You can't make me doubt it. Uh -huh. I know too That's much right. about it. I'm speaking from experience. Right. I yes. remember when I didn't know that. I didn't know an epistle from an apostle. I didn't know nothing. Uh, Come on, Pastor. And somebody had to sit me in the corner and teach me. Amen. Amen. So I, now, now I've learned one or two things, and, and, and my faith has increased. And every now and then, the enemy come up and and he'll he he gonna try. Mm -hmm. You know, but let me, I'm going to throw this in for free. I hope y'all catch me. Abram got, got tested. But I put it with his son Isaac. So he, Isaac was the blessing. God blessed him. And years later, he, he, he tested him for that blessing. So when that, when you get something, you watch how you hold your mouth. <laughs> watch how you hold your mouth. Look, how, how can I put this? I'm, I'm gonna try to say it like I heard it. When you when you are you seeking the gift or the giver of the gift? So if you seeking the gift and not the giver of the gift, then you got a problem. You always need to seek the giver right. of the gift. But when you get that gift, you feel like, well, I don't arrive. I don't need the giver. I always want the giver. Mm -hmm. Because exactly. when he's going to give me, it might not hold up. You understand? I'm trying to make it plain. I, ain't got, I done went way over here. But look. <laughs> the arrow of faith and trust. Faith in Jesus Christ is a saving grace. Mm -hmm. You got to believe it. Yes. You got to believe him. Oh, I don't, I don't believe he went uh, went to Calvary. I, I don't believe they beat him. I don't believe he spent three days and three nights in the tomb. But see, that's your problem. Ooh, you don't believe. You don't believe. Come on. You to to receive it, you got to believe it. And then and then and then we, we all we all are like this. Uh, I, I I ain't got nothing, so it must not be nothing to me. But there's something on the way. Amen. There's something on the way. Yes. It's on the way. Every day, I go to the Vanessa don't went to the mailbox. But when I come home, I'm still looking in the mailbox. My expectations is how I'm looking for something. Well, what I'm what I'm looking for won't fit in the mailbox. But I'm looking in the mailbox. But what's coming is bigger than that mailbox. But I keep looking. I go in there and I, I look at it. I shake it. Uh -huh. What's in here? Ain't nothing in there. But that's a good in the mail come today. Uh -huh. And she might say yes or no. But I, I'm still going. I'm still going to check it. Wow. Come on. Because sometimes the mailman runs late. Come on, man. Sometimes he Woo! runs after 1 o'clock. You might think there's a delay uh -huh. in your blessing. Jesus. There's a delay in your blessing, uh -huh. and it got held up somewhere along the way, but that don't mean it's not coming. Uh -huh. It's on the, it's on the way. I just want you just to trust him. Mm -hmm. Trust him. Mm -hmm. If he said he will, then he will. He will. He gonna do it. Yes. And I've been preaching it. it for years, but it's strong. it's strong yes. this morning. Yes. It's strong this morning. You, I want you to believe it. Yes. 
Yes, God. Just believe it. Mm -hmm. Yes, God. You know, and, and, and it's coming to pass. Like I say, you, you go yes, to the God. mailbox, you look and see. Mm -hmm. It ain't come. See, if it ain't come, that means it's on the way. It's <laughs> on the way. It's coming. Yes. Amen. It's coming. Yes, God. We receive and rest upon him alone for salvation. Thank you, Jesus. As he has offered to us in the gospel. Thank you, Jesus. What unites us to Christ is our faith and the work of that Jesus did on the cross. Only through him we are saved. See, it all goes together. When something is true, it can't be trusted. If it's true, we can be trusted. Mm -hmm. and, and Jesus is true. Yes, that's right. So you got to trust him. Uh -huh. see, see, we put our trust in everything. Mm -hmm. Some crazy stuff, you know. But our salvation depends and our trust that the word of God is true. You got to, everything in this Bible is true. Mm -hmm. But I don't believe it. I don't believe it. See, when you walk around with doubt and you don't believe it, mm -hmm. guess what? That's what you're going to get. That's yeah, right. Man, you, man. Know, you don't believe it because if you ain't looking for nothing, you ain't going to get nothing. That's right. How many times I go to, to the refrigerator, I'm looking in there. <laughs> and I just went and I go back in there again. I'm expecting something. I'm just looking for something. <laughs> I just ain't got it yet. But it's on the way. I get it all the time. In the church. The natural man makes a de decision based on what feels and seems right. Mm -hmm. That leads to death. Mm -hmm. I want you to catch yeah. this. The natural man makes decisions based on what feels and seems right. That leads to death. Because see, he's doing it in his flesh. He's doing it with his own eyes. He's doing it with his own skin. The natural man. But the spiritual man, on the other hand, uh, basic his decision on what the word of God says, regardless of the consequences. See, so what it looked like ain't what it looked like. Wow. See, you have to almost do it kind of backwards like. Because if you know ain't nothing in your pocket, well, I ain't got nothing. But I ain't got nothing yet. Mm -hmm. That means it's on you. See, you, you, it's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. You got to believe it. Amen. Well, I ain't, I ain't got it yet. God done showed me this and showed me that. I mean, three, four, maybe five years ago, but it ain't come to pass. And, then, and every now and then, something just comes up. I said, I remember hearing that. I remember, I remember them saying that. But see, I don't know how it's going to go. Mm -hmm. I just know what they said, what the Spirit is saying. What, what did the Spirit say? What, 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 what's that Polaroid picture, picture look like? Look up, you look at it. They said, but that don't make no sense to me. Amen. Amen. Expansion. Wow. Expansion. Wow. Expansion. God, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I'm believing you for it. Yes. Expansion. Expansion. Well, well, I don't know where it's going to be or what it's going to be, God. but yes. God, I'm ready for it, God. Yes. If you're telling me I'm ready, then I'm ready. Expansion. Yes. I don't know how, but God, I thank you. Maybe I wasn't ready for it back then. Maybe I couldn't handle it five, six speak, years ago. Pastor. And, and God saying, well, well son, yes, I think you time. ready for it now. Time. I think you ready for it. You, you, you passed Ooh. time. You, you, you ready. You, you, you proved yourself time. faithful to God. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going to reward you openly mm -hmm. in front of the public, amen. In front of the public. Come Everybody going to say, well, he didn't have, he ain't got but three. How did Come you on. get that, God? That's, that's right. right. That's right. To God be the glory. Right. I'm gonna give you one more scripture. We're gonna get ahead, yeah. and, and I'm sorry for being late. But this, this, <laughs> we're gonna close out with this. Without faith, it is impossible to please God. That's right. Without faith, Without it. it's impossible. It's impossible. You want to please God? Have, show, show your faith. Right. Show God your faith. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about what people say. That's right. That's How do you please God with your faith? Mm -hmm. If you 
If you, if you believe it, then it's coming to pay. Amen. Well, I, well, I didn't think it would happen like this. Well, I didn't either. But see, I haven't figured it out. I'm going to let God, I'm just going to get on God's coattail and ride it out. And, well, well, that's strange. But when I'm up here scratching my head and trying to do this and trying to do that, I'm making a mess. And I'm trying to look for this one and I'm trying to look for that. Nothing happened. But when I just get on this coattail and let him do it, 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 it happens all the night. But it's kind of hard to explain. But if, if, if we don't do this, this is going to happen. But I'm trusting God. Amen. I'm trusting God. Amen. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping the doors of the church. Amen. True word. Amen. Thank, you, thank you for tuning in. Amen. It's all about your faith. That's right. That's right. Do you believe? Will you believe? Mm -hmm. And I tell you, don't take my word for it. But it's in the word of God. It's in the word. So some things that you've been asking God for. The things you've been praying about. Yes, God. God's going to open some things up. I thank you, God. I believe. You know, God's gonna open some I things up. Because right. right. I, I didn't I, I don't know how it's gonna happen. See, we, we sit up and try to figure this thing out. And 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 and, and things just happen so 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 smoothly. When, when we start trying to figure it out. Well Lord God, it it, it ain't happened yet. So it must not go happen. Well, if God said it is, mm -hmm. then it is. Mm -hmm. See, that's, that's what that's what we gotta do. We gotta we gotta walk in it by faith. Well, it ain't it ain't here yet. You know, some of y'all order stuff from FedEx, UPS, and who else? Amazon. Mm -hmm. And then y'all can track your package. Exactly. Yeah. Well, it ought to be here by five o'clock. <laughs> and you tracking it. But there's a thing called God time. God's time says one thing. FedEx will tell you something else. But you can best believe what God said it is, it's going to come to pass. That's, right. that's, that's all I want you to see.